Hello, this is our fifth tutorial on 3D Rad, and this time we are going to make a car ourselves from scratch. In our first tutorial ever, we we just took the car JPEG, and it would plop a car right in front of us, already built. But what if you want to add your own like design to your car, or anything like that? Well, that's what the wheels here are made for. First, we're going to have to get the rigged body, as always. Do platform. Okay. And then we're going to add four wheels. Let me just get this rigid value loaded here. There we go. Now we know what they're going to be. So now we got four wheels, we gotta add the G force. Let's take each wheel, add them to the G force. Now, if we press play, you'll notice that all the wheels do have the oopsies. Um, I got also connect the wheels to the rigged body. And what did I just do? I let four poor helpless wheels fall through a platform. Oh. Okay. As you see, all the wheels do right at now is roll or just stay there, or whatever. Let's just go easy right here. All the wheels do is just plop to the ground. Hey, I'm a wheel here. I'm going to. So to give the wheel action. We gotta. Never mind. We gotta have it controlled by something. And we're gonna. You'll see the control thing right here. You do throttle, reverse. You don't have to do brake if you don't want to. For each of them. And just to let you know, you can do this with. Um, you can do this with car AIs too. You can just leave them unchecked and make all of them drivable. You can make. Whoop. Um, you can make them drivable by a car AI. So, but first, before we, before we can drive them around, we have to put them. onto their position in the car body. We got to take an object at a skin mesh. I mean a rigged body. Rigged body. We're going to be adding the skin mesh later. Take it back. Mm, connect the rigged body to all wheels. At the moment, I'm just going to keep them as is right here because it doesn't really matter. Rigid. Rigid, sorry. And we can change our rigid body to sports car body. And just so you know, if you've watched my, like, Slenderman videos that I've been making, my Slenderman game, Y'all know that this is actually the I've u I use this to um and that's a small sports car body um and just to let you know um I, that I use this skin to make the broken car um so you can actually make your wheels smaller and everything 
I'm just gonna use one wheel at the moment because balance doesn't really matter uh, with the sports car body. And we're just gonna connect this wheel and we're gonna have the oops, um I gotta name this friggin' body as the platform. Otherwise I'm gonna get really confused. My one handed typing skills. I know it just disappeared because it was loading for a second. Car body. All right. Um. Now, since it's connected to this wheel here, we can do the sports car body as vehicle body. Now, if we just press play here, all you're gonna see is that for a moment. That's the only thing you can do right now because we haven't applied and I'll show you why here the rigged body to g-force I mean g-force and the platform so now we have our just sports car body now let's apply all the wheels to it and I'm going to have to go through this really quickly here I'm going to just pause the video for a second because you know what to do and yeah, never mind <laughs> huh. um so you just gotta get it so all the wheels are on the body here. I gotta shorten these wheels a little so that it doesn't look like a big monster truck with a sports car body. That would be terrible. A sports monster truck. Connect that one to the rigid body. Rigid body. Sorry, I keep having to collect my, correct myself on that. Ugh, these wheels are hard to place. You gotta get them just right or your car goes bouncing around like crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, they do well, it doesn't, just it wobbles. Sorry, right, that's my phone in the background if you heard that. So now we have our little wheel. Ugh, gosh. Sorry if this is taking a long time. You can just skip ahead. We'll see when this ends. All this torture! Ugh. I didn't see if I applied this one. So add them all to the vehicle body. You have it already. And now we can just play. And we have our customized car that doesn't move very fast. <laughs> here, we better. I better add a camera chase so that we don't get lost on here. Yeah, you should try to place m the the wheels way better than I did. Otherwise, it's just gonna be bad. Um, it's just gonna look, it's gonna wobble around like mine. I'm not really supposed to do that. Trust me, don't do the, don't do what I did if you're a game maker. <laughs> if you wanna make a professional sports car, don't just rush through it. <laughs> like I did. Just advice. Not saying I'm bad. And... And we have a very... wobbly car. And now we can actually add more to it by object add 
and we can add a character and we can add a skin mesh skin mesh where the heck are you skin mesh I want you skin mesh And we can do, let's see, what car things do they have? Come on, come on, don't tell me you just have buggies. Sports car, sports car, body. Red body, let's try the red body. And we have our little sports car body that we can put on our sports car here. Please don't rush through this. It's, it, otherwise, it's going to be messy. Messy. I keep saying that. Messy. Now, add the character skin mesh. The rigged body to skin. To the, I mean, the character to the skin mesh. I mean. The, the skin mesh is a character and the rigged body to the character. Skin mesh, skin mesh, rigged sphere, rigged body. Rigid body, rigid body, why do I keep getting that word wrong? Now play. And now we have a skin mesh. See, mine is very messy. Because <sighs> I've just started making my custom cars. And you see, it, I, I rushed through it so quick that even yep see look at there goes the skin mesh <laughs> saying goodbye I'm leaving your car now um well that's it for this tutorial try to make it more less messy I mean less messy than I did please just so you know I never rush never that much well see you guys bye <laughs> Man, car, you need a repair.